Hi, I'm Liz Smith, a certified public accountant. Today, I'm going to show you how to unreconcile a reconciled bank account. So, you reconciled your transactions for the month and then all of a sudden, don't! You realize you recorded something incorrectly and you need to go back and fix that. Well, I'll show you how. First, you'll want to navigate to the chart of accounts. You will do this by selecting the menu that's on the left side, going to Transactions, and in the submenu, selecting Chart of Accounts. Once the chart of accounts loads, you'll want to find the account that has the transactions that you need to revise. In this case, the account that we need to revise is 1010, this Cash Bank of America account. I am then going to select View Register in order to view the activity that was recorded to this account. Once the activity loads, we'll be able to select the transactions and then do the revisions that we need to do in order to fix our bank reconciliation. And now it's time to fix the errors of our ways. We will click on the transactions that we want to fix because we want this to be blank. So I've double clicked here in the status, uh, account status column until that R went away. Then I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna get this message because QuickBooks wants to make sure that I don't mess up my accounts by accident. So this message comes up, I'm going to select yes. I will then repeat this process for the second transaction that I am going to need to revise. Again, I click in that account status column until that R goes away and then I click save. The reminder comes up, I select yes, and the transactions are now saved. And now that you've successfully saved the revocation of that original reconciliation, your next step would be to make the transactions what they actually need to be. So in this case, we're gonna to need to delete the service charge and then change these warehouse utility fees to $1,525. Once that change is made, we'll be able to look in the reconciliation area to confirm that what we expect to see for transactions to be reconciled is really what's out there. And as we all know, you can do everything right and the wrong thing still happens. So what do we do when we go to reconcile our account again and we discover that we have a beginning balance that is off? Well, in this case, we know exactly what happened because this is one of the transactions that we adjusted. So what we can do is just do a new reconciliation for June 30th. So my bank ending balance was $4,475. I'm going to do this reconciliation as of June 30th. I'm just redoing the reconciliation that I had done initially. I'm gonna click Start Reconciling. And then what's gonna pop up is this $1,525 transaction that was adjusted from $1,500. So I'll go ahead and select that. Hit Finish Now and voila, all is right with the world.